but so far this is uh, pretty nice. This is more a uh, bike that I wanted to ride. 2021 Indian FTR. The brakes, there's, I mean, it got Brimbos. Steel braided uh, brake lines in the front. Let's see what this is. This is the uh, 2021 Indian FTR. This is the carbon edition. Nice little gauges. Looks like a touchscreen, I hope. It's in sport mode already. I'm not too familiar with the modes. Traction control. This bike is really, really tall right off the rip. Um, it's not a big deal. But this is more of a bike that I was looking to ride. This is definitely it's a naked bike. As you see, the carbon model. 16,999. 16, so that's probably like... Uh, I'm gonna say at least $19,000, which uh, I don't believe it's worth it at all. Ooh, okay. Clutch is, uh, lets out pretty nice, actually. So I'm gonna get behind uh, Dwayne here, and I'm gonna stick behind him the whole time. We're in neutral. Neutral goes into neutral pretty fairly easy. Throttle is very, very responsive. Not like that cruiser I was on. As I can see, you got the Brembo set up for the front brakes, which is good. Seating is crazy. Tall. Torquey, very torquey. Very, very torquey. I'm not sure if there's a quick shifter or auto blipper on this one. I haven't looked. But this is the 2021. Indian FTR carbon. Ooh, a little spit out the exhaust. Acropovic and uh, Indian collab. Front brakes are what they're supposed to be compared to that bike up there I rode. I'm gonna try to quick shift it. So now I know the route off, off, oh, we're going a different way, okay, okay, something different. I feel like I'm riding a, uh, huh, I feel like I'm riding a mountain bike right now. I'm gonna try to stay behind Dwayne and see what kind of footage he gets. I don't wanna get too close. I know how the GoPro shoot, but uh, shout out to Dwayne. I'm gonna link up with him after we get off these bikes and get the footage from him. Um, just met him today. And that's, that's the uh, thing with motorcycle community and things like that. You meet people, you don't know them, and uh, can in instantly, you know, become friends. But so far, this is uh, pretty nice. This is more a uh, bike that I wanted to ride. Definitely, downshifts are a little uh, intense because I'm not used to the bike. I don't know which way we're going, but. Dwayne was saying, <laughs> it's a little vibrate that if that's a word. Definitely, uh, it sounds like there's a lot of, it sounds like there's some plastic on here. I don't know if this is real carbon. I mean, it, it, it gotta be real carbon. It better be for that kind of price. But, man, I don't, I don't know what to say. Definitely won't wheelie. I'm in second gear and I was at a low RPM. I tried to flip the throttle and it really didn't do anything. It's more planted than any other naked bike. I don't know if Indian calls this like a sport bike or a naked bike, whatever. I do 
like the upright seating position on this bike. Like I said, it feels like I'm riding on a on a mountain bike. Actually, you know what? It feels like I'm riding on a um, you know, them exercise bikes from back in the day. Them exercise bikes that would be like in your um grandma's basement or grandpa's basement, and you'd be sitting up on that uh seat, that seat be high. This, this is what this bike feels like right now. I'm not even lying. All jokes aside, this is exactly what it feels like. Throttle's a little, uh, needs a little tuning for real. I wonder if this bike got some navigation on the problem. Mirrors are uh, fairly decent. They look kind of, kind of ugly. Those are easy to change out, but um, the brakes, there's, I mean, it got Brembo's, so the brakes are perfect, steel braided, uh, brake lines in the front, so the braking is on point, 
out of I'm gonna give it a score out of like 10 I'm gonna give this thing like a, a six to be honest that triumph was way better triumph was way better could sound like that but I'm sorry man you gotta uh, Indian you gotta do something about that definitely uh, give that a smooth six no question um, other than that man um, if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel and you guys are watching this for the first time subscribe turn on the bell notification stay tuned I got a lot of content that's coming different bikes different stuff Stay tuned, drop some comments if you want me to, uh, if you have any suggestions on what kind of videos you guys might want to see. Um, I'm open to all suggestions. Um, but yeah, subscribe. Also, follow my Instagram. I put a lot of stuff on my Instagram. Just stay in the loop with what I got going on. There's a lot of new things that are going to be coming. But uh, you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Kickstand's a little awkward. This thing, you were right. It makes a bunch of noises. I don't understand it. It's it's rattly and like it made me feel like there was like plastic on it. I was like, is this is this real carbon? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, it's, it's, it's everything bolted together. It's just all rattled. Right. And and for that price, it shouldn't do that. You know? How would you compare that to an empty tank? Right. Exactly. And you'll hear, you'll hear none of that. You put an R1 engine. Right. Into a, a, a Naked bike. Mm -hmm. Rip your face off. I mean, it wasn't bad. No. Wasn't bad at all. The, the noises it makes makes you wonder. Fun little bike though.